Children, children. Yes, Auntie. Welcome to another beautiful evening of Nilebam. Today, I will be telling you a story on how tortoise overcame elephant and the hippopotamus. There lived a hippopotamus and an elephant. The elephant and the hippopotamus always fed together. And we're good friends. Hmm, this fish tastes nice. It's alright, that's what friends are for. You're right, us big guys have to look after each other, you know? One day, while they were still having lunch, the tortoise was passing by, overhead and interrupted them. You guys think you're so big and strong, eh? The elephant and the hippopotamus laughed. Then the elephant said, Look at this puny creature. I can even use my trunk and throw you away. I know you're big and strong, but if I'm serious, you can't even move me. Let's do it now, self. Not right now. If you lose to me, you will claim it's because you ate. Let us meet at the river tomorrow. The next day, the elephant, hippopotamus, and tortoise gathered at the river to witness the event. If you can pull me out of the water, you win. Use a rope to tie me up and pull me so you won't claim the water made my shell slippery. In fact, if you do so, I will give you 10,000 calories. In fact, if you win, I'll give you 20,000 calories. The tortoise tied the rope round his body and went into the water. But, he knew the river so well that he swam to the bottom and removed the rope from his body, then tied it to a big rock. Due to this, the elephant pulled with all his might, thinking he was pulling the tortoise. He pulled to the point that the rope snapped. So. The tortoise took the end of the rope and tied to his leg as if it had been there all this time. After a while, he emerged from the water with a smug look on his face. Behold, the mighty elephant has fallen. This is impossible, but uh, I'm a man of my word, so I guess it's your victory. Here's your money. Then, the tortoise took the money and went home. Hey honey, I'm home. Welcome home dear. How was your day? You won't believe what happened today. I just defeated the elephant in the battle of strength. Wow, I never knew you were that strong. Now you know. Now, three months later, the tortoise got an idea. It's been three months since I got this money and it's running low. I need to make more. But how will I go about it? The tortoise immediately got an idea. Yes, I can try the same trick with the hippopotamus. The following day, the tortoise went to the hippopotamus and made a similar bet to that of the elephant. After defeating your friend, I see no contender but you. I challenge you to do the same thing as the elephant. Alright, but this time I'll be in the water 
and pull you from the land into the water. That's okay with me. To this, the tortoise agreed. So, they went down to the river as before. The tortoise told the hippopotamus to take the rope and go into the water. Without turning back, the hippopotamus took the rope and proceeded. Then, the tortoise tied the rope twice to a palm tree instead of his leg and then hid at the foot of the palm tree. The hippopotamus gave up and emerged from the water. Then the tortoise immediately removed the rope from the tree and tied it to himself like it had been there all this time. Seems I am once again victorious. I don't believe it. When you defeated elephants, I thought it was just a mistake. But now I see you are truly strong. I'm a man of my word. Here is your money. Later, the hippopotamus and the elephant were having their usual lunch together. And the tortoise soon became the topic of their discussion. The tortoise is really strong. He defeated me last week in a battle of strength too. Now that he is the strongest animal in the kingdom, we need to make him a close friend of ours. I agree with you. Now, hippopotamus and elephant went to the tortoise house bringing gifts as a sign of respect to him. We have come to pay respect to the strongest animal in the kingdom. You're welcome. Honey, elephants and hippo are here to see you. I'll be right there. As the tortoise approached, elephants and the hippopotamus both exclaimed, All hail the tortoise, the strongest animal in the world. You are welcome to my humble home. To what do I owe the pleasure? We are here to pay tribute to you and ask for your friendship. Good friends we need to see you often and hang out around each other. Since I am a good swimmer, I will live in the water with the hippo and let my son who isn't represent me on land with the elephant. Is that okay with both of you? This explains why turtles live on water and land. The turtle who lives in the water is bigger than the tortoise who lives on the land because he eats plenty of food and fish from the river, unlike the tortoise who is often short of food. Children, children! Yes, Auntie! This is the end of our story. So, the lessons from this story are Don't believe people easily because they might fool you. Don't deceive people because you feel you are smarter than them. So, until next time, bye bye! Bye bye! bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.